This is a method that you can use that doesn't require a website, doesn't require a whole lot of setup or technical know-how. In fact, if you can post on Facebook or Instagram, yep, you pretty much have the skills you need. And of course, you'll probably want to learn a little bit about AI and ChatGPT and tools like that. But other than that, there's not a whole lot you need to get started. You don't need a bunch of money. You don't need a bunch of know-how. Yep, this literally works for anyone. But first, let's dive into what this is. What we're talking about today is known as Facebook Content Farms. And I have a big question for you. What do these Facebook pages have in common? Here, we have the bright side with over 43 million followers, celeb rankings with almost 500,000 followers, 5-Minute Crafts, 14 million followers, 7-Second Riddles, 3.5 million followers, and on and on we go. And you might have noticed something very important down in the little box over here. ADME is responsible for this page. Well, if you do a little bit of research on the company ADME, you will find that these brands are no slouch. These are responsible for getting more views than companies like Disney. And all they're doing is creating content around what people like to view. It's actually very simple. Some of it is video content, image content, and some of it is just plain text. In fact, most of the students I have that are doing this are doing the text and image version just using AI. And we can see here that this is a huge company, generating as much as $110 million a year. And to show you how big this is, here's a list of some of the most followed Facebook pages. You have Facebook, Cristiano Ronaldo, Samsung, Mr. Bean, and then, wait a minute, Five Minute Crafts? Yep, that is one of the brands that this company owns. And it's a huge brand. And the whole thing revolves around creating content in a specific niche, posting it on Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube, and getting paid big money. It's actually super simple. In fact, there's a lot of other businesses doing this exact thing. You can look at The Shade Room, which is a gigantic media outlet that started with social media posts and is now apparently a contender with Oprah. Yeah, that's how big these are. Some of the other companies doing this are Unilaid, BuzzFeed, Viral Nova, Upworthy, Bored Panda, which I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen these, Nine Gag, Diply, Ranker, Mashable, The Dodo, and more. And these companies are making money hand over fist. But how are they doing it, and what does that mean for people like me and you that just want to make money online posting content with AI? Well, we're going to get to that in just a minute. First, let me show you some examples of some smaller pages. Here's one here called Shipping Container Homes. It's a page all around building shipping container homes and pools and different things out of shipping containers, which apparently is very popular today. And we can see that this one boasts over 1.9 million followers. Here's another one by the Dipley Company with over 10 million followers. And of course, if we look into Upworthy, we can see that Upworthy is an online media company built on curating and sharing viral content that underscores meaningful causes and encourages viewers to spread the word. Did you catch that? Curating and sharing viral content. So technically, they're not really making their own content. So what is this curated content stuff anyway? Curated content is when a content curator selects content to share on social media platforms. Basically, you find content and you share it, or you find different types of content, compile it, make your own content, and then share that. So wait a minute, Marcus. These people are actually getting paid just to find, share, and curate content online that's out there free anyway? Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying here. And these companies are actually gigantic. In fact, there's some good companies like the ones we just mentioned, and then there's some others that are doing spam and scams and different things like that. Sometimes this stuff gets out of hand. So make sure that when you're curating content, you always follow the copyright laws, legalities, and always have your user's best interest at heart. In fact, you can actually make more money just doing a good service for people you don't really have to be shady. 
And you can see here, the Soul Publishing has won tons of awards, they're boasting over 2 billion subscribers, and the channels go on and on. In fact, one of my students that joined our last Meme Profits class made over $700, and I think last he said he was doing like $1,000 a month with a very simple page about different household pets. We can see here 5 Minute Crafts is boasting over 126 million followers, The Woof World has 1.7 million, and Bored Panda at 15 million. Hey wait, check this out. Here's a friend of mine, Leonard's page, with over 136,000 followers. And I know for a fact that this one makes money. We're going to talk about it in a minute. I got a screenshot from my buddy, and we'll show you how the whole thing works. We can also see Wicked Monkey Memes, Chef Club Network, and the whole nine yards. And if you want to find out some of the pages that different people own, what you'll notice is that on every Facebook page, it says who's responsible for the page. And we could just simply take this, put it into Google, find out all the different pages and groups and posts that they own. It's actually super simple, and you can dive into these and see what these companies are about. It's a huge, huge business. But first, if you wanted to get started in this business, what would you do? I mean, how would you get the content in the first place? Well, first, what we want to do is pick a direction or niche. You'll notice that on all the You'll notice that on all these pages we went through here, they have a specific niche market in mind. We have this one here with home and life hacks, different things that people can do to make their life better, like making these kind of punches and uh, garlic bread chili or whatever that is, all kinds of different things that people are interested in. Or this one here where they're sharing funny memes. Or this one over here where they're doing different snacks and chef clubs and recipes and things like that. Or Bored Panda that goes through and does funny different things and different content. Now notice that some of these are going to have content that leads to the website. So Bored Panda here is actually leading you to his website that talks about what the content is about. So very simple. They post a snapshot of the content link to the blog post with the content. This would be the advanced method if you actually wanted to get traffic to your website and make money with all of these ads. As you can see here, this ad pops up and they are paid for having these ads on the website. It's actually very simple. This is something that I've been doing for a long time and Facebook is a fantastic way to drive traffic to your websites, blogs, affiliate offers, and whatever it is you're using to make money. In fact, if we were to go to similarweb.com, right like this, and search for Bored Panda, we can see where the majority of his traffic is coming from. We could see here, 40 million visitors a month, pretty flat lined, it looks like he's been the same for a long time. It also shows similarly ranked sites like Disney. Yeah, I'd like that in my similar sites because that means I'm probably getting a lot of traffic and making a lot of money. We can also see that down here, it's going to show you where his traffic comes from. And we could see that 32% of his traffic is coming from social media. And of that 32%, we can see 60% is coming from Facebook and 33% is coming from Pinterest. So over 90% of his traffic is coming from two channels, just Facebook and Pinterest. Yep, exactly. And you could see here that these channels are all the same. LAD Bible right here, we could see has only 128,000 rankings in Google, yet they have like 50 million followers. So you can see here that this isn't just about search traffic, although if you're doing the advanced blog method, you'll probably get that traffic too. We could see here he's not getting that much traffic from search at all when you're looking at like 89,000 visitors a month versus the 50 million people who follow the content every day. So using Facebook for this stuff is a game changer and it gets tons and tons of traffic. And don't worry, if you don't wanna do this with a blog, you could quite simply link to your affiliate offer right over here, like many people do. As you can see, the shipping container guy, he's got a shortened URL here that's probably going to an affiliate link or something like that. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pick a direction. Are we gonna talk about motorhomes, camping, prepping, grammar, funny celebrity stuff. What is it that we are going to go through? I'm going to go ahead and put a list of different types of content that you can use for this over on my site at memeprofits.com. You can pick something there, maybe pick something you're interested in, like cooking if you like cooking, or cowboy boots if you like cowboy boots, or whatever it is that you like. 
you're going to pick that direction. And then what you're going to do is you are going to use AI to create horizontal content. What is horizontal content? You might ask, well, that is where we are going to take a niche and we are going to flip it sideways. What a lot of people are going to tell, blah, 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 blah. what a lot of people are going to tell you to do is take your niche like recipes and then go through and find all the words like recipes, best recipes, recipes at home, recipes that are easy, three ingredient recipes and different things like that. What you're going to do in something like that is be timed out and limited by the amount of long tail keywords. That's what this is known as. People have been doing it for years. Instead, what we are going to do is put the content on its side. So I would go through and say, well, if we're doing crafts, maybe I'll do something like popsicle stick crafts. There we go, right? Then I'm going to take that sideways and I'm going to go through and do popsicle stick monument, popsicle stick house, mansion, airplane, whatever it is. We're going to have all of them lined out. Or if we're doing content that is text-based where we're not doing a bunch of images or videos, then we can go through and do something a little bit different. Let me show you exactly what I mean over here in ChatGPT. If we were to go to ChatGPT, right, like this, and I was to say, let's do some niche ideas for Facebook or different things like that. Let's say I wanted to go into life hacks or hacks for common known products. Some of you guys have seen that there's a bunch of posts out there like, oh, if you put a quarter in your washing machine, it'll do X, Y, and Z. Don't do that. I just made it up. But some people will say, hey, if you put, you know, fabric softener on your air conditioner, it'll smell nice in your house. So what I'm doing is I'm using ChatGPT and I'm asking it for some crazy hacks for modern products that very few people know about. It says, here's a laptop lid hanger, a tennis ball phone amplifier, toothpaste for headlights. And these are the things that get tons and tons of views. What you're going to do is you're going to use AI for every step of the process, but you're not just going to use AI. You're going to use human directed AI. So where I'm going in here and directing it and saying, these are the things I want. Then we're going to go through and make it better. We could say, now please make an image for tennis ball phone amplifier. And it'll go through and it'll make an image that'll work really well to get people enticed and interested. We can post that on the Facebook page and we can post a little blurb about how the hack works. It's actually very simple. So now you see like, why would someone put a phone in a tennis ball? Then I would say, now please write a small article about this right here. And it'll go through and it'll talk about how it works. It'll say how to do it. And we can even say now make three step by step images for this article. And we can see it's literally doing all the work for us. All we need to do is make sure that we have engaging content, make sure it's not plagiarized, which you could run it through Grammarly and stuff like that. And also make sure that it's telling the truth. We don't want to be like, hey, you know, go sell the tennis ball for $500, right? That wouldn't be legit. But doing this where we're human interacted, we're getting really good content that can work in a super, super simple way. And you could see this is what's happening. This is how it works. It's actually very, very simple. And I mean, it did a pretty good job. This is stuff we could use right away. And you can see here, there's a channel just doing this exact same thing with little simple videos. And you could do this with videos in an easy way by literally just going and getting this cleaning slime, rub it on some things and take a video. You don't need your voice. You don't need to be in the camera. Literally all you're showing is your hands. It's actually super simple. And these kind of things get tons and tons of engagement. And all this person's doing is showing different cleaning hacks and different stuff like that. So we can use AI if we say we're in the cleaning hacks. Now please share 25 little known cleaning hacks around the house. And it'll go through and it'll find these. Or we could say find me 25 crazy shocking Amazon products for cleaning, right? And we could see here like coffee filters for dusting, pillowcase fan blades, all kinds of crazy things that would work good. And again, when we start to look at this, we're like, okay, make an image for this. 
and it makes it super, super easy. And the content literally writes itself, and all we would have to do is make our own spin on it, make sure it's good, post and share it, and then you could go through and maybe find some kind of ceiling fan uh, cleaner that you can get on Amazon or something like that, and you would use your Amazon affiliate link. Now, this definitely is going to work best if you have your own blog. However, you don't need to. We're gonna talk about ways that you can get paid just for sharing and getting engagement. So what we're gonna do is get the content, curate it, pick our niche, and use AI to get the horizontal content. Now, in order to get paid, this is actually super simple. Of course, affiliate offers, having your own blog, that's a bonus tip that can get you into bigger money. But one of the things that people don't realize is Facebook actually has a bonus program that pays you when people like, comment, engage, and view your content. They pay a lot of money. I'm gonna show you in just a minute. We can use a Facebook bonus program to make money with our content. I know friends that have pages that are, you know, pretty small with 100,000 followers and they're making thousands and thousands of dollars a month. One example we're going to show you is making like $5,000 a month. Now, you can also monetize across multiple platforms. Pinterest, I believe, just created a monetization platform. And again, using this stuff, you just make a smaller version and post it on Pinterest. Same content, structured differently. Very easy. And then, of course, we can do affiliate and site traffic revenue as well. Now, one of our students in our last Meme Profits course, Carl, said that on his pet site, he legit made like $700 with the Facebook bonus program. So this stuff works like crazy. You can also see my buddy Leonard made over $5,000 and it's 23 days left for his bonus, which means that was made in like seven days or something like that. Crazy stuff, lots of money here. And you can see what he's posting. Some kind of Kool-Aid hack, some kind of otter pop thing and a copycat Whataburger. And these are just images you can tell from the picture here. These aren't even Facebook reels or videos or anything like that. Nope, just simple content positioned to get engagement. And what Facebook wants is they want people on Facebook so they will pay if you keep people on Facebook. How do you do that? Keep them by keeping them engaged. And this is something that is very big. Here is the example of the guy that was in our course last time, Carl. Here's an example from Leonard's site. And we could see that this stuff works really, really, really well. Now, when looking at these businesses that are gigantic, like these ones up here, the bright side, celeb rankings, five minute crafts, seven second riddles, what we wanna do is learn from their engagement. While they might be making 80 to $100 million a year, or a quarter of a million dollars a day, we wanna look at this and say, well, maybe I'm not that big, but could I make $50 a day, $100 a day, $300 a day, or even a couple thousand dollars a day? And when you start to see the power and the magnitude of these businesses, yes, this would be like being around in the 80s and MTV saying, hey, you can use our show to sell whatever you want every single day. Just make sure that what you put out is engaging and ethical for our viewers. Do you think you could make money if they put you in front of their millions of people that watched MTV every single day? And the answer is yes. That is what's happening here. Facebook has a gigantic audience. And if you make good engaging content and share it with people who would like it and extend your reach, you can get audiences that are ginormous, like this one here for riddles. Literally, all they're doing is sharing riddles. I can go to AI and say, now come up with 100, or 100 crazy riddles. And we could go through and it'll make the images, it'll make whatever we want. Very, very simple. And these are the kind of things that get crazy good engagement. In fact, I was talking to Leonard in our last call where he was saying that there was some Dr. Pepper recipe that got tons and tons of views. I think it was like a Dr. Pepper Oreo or something weird like that. To me, it sounds like a blood sugar problem, but you know, if it gets engagement and makes money, you don't have to eat the thing to make it work. And we could see it's just going to work, making all kinds of different riddles. And we could go through and say, 
please make an image for, please make an image for this riddle. Engaging and click baity. And it'll go through and make something for this riddle in a super simple way. So we're using AI with our human ingenuity to have it help us save time. We can curate content with AI in a way that was never, ever available before. And we could see here it's got all kinds of stuff like that. It's pretty cool. I mean, we can use something like that. Or I might just do it without the words on the image because sometimes... AI struggles with words, but we can see here that it works pretty good. And now we're going through and we're like, okay, I can legit make a business that works by getting engagement of what people are looking for. And using AI is a game changer because up until now, when that company started, the bright side and five minute hacks and all those, they had to have a team of content writers, a team of video creators, and all kinds of teams to make this stuff work. But now using AI, we can do this as a one-man show. And you might not be able to make $100 million a year, but you can probably make something. But I gotta tell you, this is a business. The results are not typical, implied, or guaranteed. And the average person trying to make money online makes nothing. But I think if you follow along and you look at what these big businesses are doing, you can make this work in a super simple way. And one other bonus strategy I'll leave with you today is the art of list building. If you can use these to get a mailing list, maybe you'll share a thousand ways to make money or side hustles or whatever it is. We can actually use those to create a business like that. Because if I get a mailing list, then I can mail them all sorts of different things. This is the same kind of thing I'm doing over on Pinterest where I'm sharing different drop shipping items. I go through and I say, here's a drop shipping item, here's another one. And we have all these drop shipping items that make money. What this is doing is it's building me a mailing list over at lolbiz.com where people put their name and email to get the full list of all the drop shipping things. And then I email them stuff about how to get started with drop shipping and Shopify affiliate links and different things like that. And it works like crazy. Again, notice in the drop shipping example how I put the content sideways. I didn't talk about best way to make money drop shipping, how to start drop shipping, Shopify versus this. That's keyword type stuff, which is good for Google rankings and YouTube and things like that. When we're coming over to Facebook, we want to think what's going to take people out of their normal, mundane, scrolling Facebook and show them something interesting. Can I say, well, hey, check it out. Here's this weird baseball bat that makes $9 million a year on Amazon. You want to learn dropshipping? Click here. Here's this weird inflatable giraffe that you use in your pool, right? It makes this much on Facebook. And using data points, you can be the king. And all we did on this example here is find data points from different programs. I pay $30 for a subscription to Jungle Scout, which shows me how much traffic they get, how much money they make, and put some images together and bada bing, bada bang, there we go. We can even use AI to say, now tell me 100 little known crazy drop shipping products that make money online. And it'll go through and it'll find the stuff. Again, we wanna go through and we want to fact check it. So I would say, okay, is there a floating globe or a self-stirring mug, right? We can go through, use our data points. I can use Jungle Scout, Ahrefs, or whatever other tool to see if these things actually work. And we can see here, yeah, it definitely works. A lot of people are buying these. And the data I'm gonna show you, most of it's free anyway. So I could say, here's one with a thousand reviews. Then I would just go over to Alibaba, put in self-stirring mug. And then I could say something like, hey, this self-stirring mug will make you X amount of profit. Here they are for a dollar each with your logo on it and we could sell them for $16. Want to learn about dropshipping? Click here. It's very simple, and you could do this with literally anything from life hacks to tips for insomniacs or whatever it is. What we need to do is think differently. Think about what would stop people in their tracks based on the niche you're choosing. Then you go out there and use AI to create content that these people want to look at. Then you get paid. It's really that simple. And if you want to see the full webinar on this and get all the notes from this training, check out memeprofits.com. I have that there for you. You just 
Go over there, watch the training, get the notes, and you too can start posting content on social media to make money online. Thanks again for watching. Smash that like button. Check out the videos in the description, and I'll see you in the next training.